All right, all right, all right. Look what we have here. We have to call that a bear flag. And it has triggered. It just looks like it's making that grand move up, man. But we still have a divergence on this uh, daily. So we're going to let it go. We're not going to fight it. But um, let's be cautious. We know we got the Fed out there next week. So I'm expecting consolidation next week. And you know what that means. Every time I expect consolidation, it means go long because the market rips or it tanks. But uh, we get volatility when I expect consolidation. History would dictate. Um, but uh, the market's still open. It's got about three or four minutes before it closes. <laughs> But we got to like this. Oh, that's a strong weekly bar, man. You have to just figure that um, traders are going to want to get involved with that next week. I mean, people might hold off because they're waiting on the Fed. That's Wednesday, and then they'll get it. We may just very well be in the uh, Christmas rally. We can keep our eye on that um, that trend line. And actually... You kind of have a pennant on the momentum. Very interesting. So um, if we break to the upside over there um, on the weekly, this baby's going to get some legs. And this may be uh, our Christmas rally. We also have a divergence on the, um, on the weeklies. I mean, we're making higher highs and uh, on the uh, price action and lower highs on the momentum. So just have to be wary of that. But we can't argue about this. We'll just let it run. Um, 10 years up a little bit. Not as aggressive as I would have expected. Um, being that everybody knows the Fed's going to make a move, but uh, we're, we're, we're actually challenging the 20-day line. Um, and we, this is the second uh, time we've done that on a daily basis. So um, if we see that break next week, we'll probably get a ripper. It's a ripper. So you could uh, get involved with that uh, TBT, which is a short on bond prices. The VIX is easing its way down nicely. No reason to believe it's not going to continue that downward march. It's below the 8 and the 13. Mm -mm 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 -mm. AMD, AMD. Oh, today was a good day for AMD, eh? No, what, 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 what? Thought I was just looking at four dollars up. Oh, I was looking at Apple's four dollars up. All right. AMD selling off a little bit. AMD, I'm all about buying on the dips long term. As far as a trade entry, I don't really see anything yet. Actually, it looks like it's going to come down a little more. So you could hold off on that and watch it. Maybe buy it around one. You could probably get it a buck lower than it is right now. Which I guess you're not really in it for a buck, so you might as well make that move. Um, Amazon. Oh, Amazon looks like it's right for the trade. Breaking that 549. I'd say is my entry for swing trade. Nothing too exciting on the uh, 60 minute, but um, on the daily, 
I would look for that uh, that break of that five, actually five fifty. But on Monday we can take a look at the sixty, and it'll probably uh, give us a, a a quicker entry, a cheaper entry. Um, Ark, we're not interested in Bank of America. Um, I don't think these guys have given up on the overdraft fees yet, but uh, they'll probably come around. But the um, the momentum looks like it's rolling. I like Bank of America. It's a buy on dips kind of play. But um, breaking this uh, 45, I'd say it's going to start getting aggressive. Coinbase, not interested in Costco. That one um, I think I talked about about a week ago. I told you it was a buy on dips. Um, as far as a trade... I don't see anything really uh, look for Monday. I mean, it's testing this high. It's a pretty strong bar, but it's uh, testing the high. The break of the high, it should really get going. But if you got involved when I mentioned it, you should be up about 30 points. Everybody knows I love the Diz. Disney, Disney, Disney. Covers all angles. Stay at home. Get out and play. Just doesn't matter. Oh, look at that gap. It's going to go back. Look at that gap. That's beautiful. Um, a little bit of a V bottom. I bet you're going to see a little trade off again. Probably dip just below that eight day and then uh, take off. I suspect. No reason why you can't buy it right here, but if you want to be um, cunning, you could hold off on it. Facebook, I'm not interested. Honeywell. Let's see, how's that doing? Oh, that's another one I gave you last week. Yeah, this is it, man. This is the uh, test of the highs. If it breaks this, it's going to start its grind up. NVIDIA. Love it. It's a good buy on dips. Momentum still down. Let's close this gap. I'm thinking Monday might be a buy day. I don't know if you'll get it any cheaper than on Monday. There's a Palladium um, um, ETF, PPLT. And you can see that momentum turning around. So actually, it's a nice little uh, doji right there. You could take that Monday break in that. And it's got to break the high of 89.64 to get uh, moving. I bet sometime after the new year, it's going to be about 95. TBT, we pretty much already talked about. XOM, Viacom, Tesla. That's all we're really going to look at. You know what? I want to look at AMC. Oh, look at that. It's been a while since I uh, looked at AMC. Buy more. Buy it down here. Are they still screaming that or have they uh, learned their lesson? I'm going to go jump over to uh, that channel and see what rhetoric they're screaming. Could be a trend reversal. It actually feels very negative. I haven't even been clocking it, so kind of out of the loop on it. Yeah, she's just making all time lows. Oh, yeah, that's what we were looking for. Oh, next stop, 1626, baby. This was the general range that it was trading in for quite some time. It'll probably develop a new range fairly similar to that for a while before it tanks down to 1626. Um, I believe a lot of um, insiders are, are, are getting out now. Selling the stock. That's all right. Every short squeeze can't work out. 
It's just got to be smart enough to know when it's not working out. So, okay. So anyway, that's it. It's the end of the week. So have a good weekend and be cool. And I'll probably uh, drop another video on Monday. <laughs> Excuse me. If I'm not um, able to stream, um, I'll definitely have a uh, early morning meeting out at the end of the day. So uh, that's it. Markets uh, look pretty good. We got Fed next week. That's going to be the primary focus. Fed is on Wednesday. Um, so we, we, I'm really expecting that it's just going to be a quiet week um, up until Wednesday, and then the fireworks will start. Um, everybody's expecting him to announce that he's going to pick up the pace on the purchases, like double the purchases, and just get out from under uh, everything so that he can get to raising interest rates. Me, personally, I still believe in the uh, tr inflation's transitory theory. Um, I think that uh, supply chains are going to open up. Um, I mean, if you listen to the news and you listen to the analysts, I mean, when markets go down, all well, the bearish analysts get uh, um, publicity and, and, and exposure. When the market's going up, all the bullish um, analysts get publicity and exposure. So that's it. Um, while everybody's bitching about supply chains, that's what you're going to hear. All the guys uh, naysaying it and, and bitching them on about it. And once it starts freeing up, you'll have all the guys, I oh, see, I told you it was going to go. Um, so, um, yeah, you know, take that news with a grain of salt. Just look around you. you. You know, look around you, see what's happening. Are there things on the shelves more often? Can you get your hands on things? Is it taking a month to get a computer from Dell? Um, and, and make your own assessments. So, um, Anyway, that being said, have a good weekend. Everybody be calm, cool, and at peace. And until Monday, good luck trading.